What's going on out there in YouTube land? I wanted to kind of put out a video here on my experience and the tools I used uh, when doing a bellow install, a, a gimbal bearing install, and a shift cable install. So here's some of the tools that I used that helped me do it uh, and successfully complete it actually for the first time. All right, so here we go. The first tool I wanted to talk about was the weed whacker line. This was used to feed the shift cable uh, outer jacket through the transom and up through the engine bay. Um, this here is what I used to seal the shift cable uh, outer jacket to the bell housing. You have to put this in the threads. And uh, I think the manual called for something else but I went to a couple different bow shops and they said this here is the same thing so I, I use this to put in the threads of the uh, uh, the the outer shift cable jacket to secure it to the bell housing I put this in the threads this here I use to clean the threads up um, on the bell housing for the shift cable. I put this in there, did that, kind of cleared them up a little bit. Um, and this was pretty good at, uh, at doing that. Um, this here tool, if you don't have this, if you don't know what this is, get this. This thing is worth its weight in gold. Um, this here I got at Home Depot in the plumbing section. And uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, I'm pretty sure it was Home Depot. But uh, what I did, so both of these, the inner and the outer red plastic here, um, the diameter was the same. I trimmed this inner one down. And uh, I trimmed it down just enough to where I could get this device inside of my u-joint bellow kind of like this okay so on the new one it fits it fits perfectly it fits like a glove and so you put it in there like this and what I used it for was now I only have one here hand so I'm going to show you how this thing works but I turn this and when you turn that this black rubber piece expands Okay, and contracts depending on which way you turn it so what I did to get the bellow ring on there right the new one on here this is the old one of course so what I did is I used this device I inserted it into my new new joint bellow and I turned it okay this black piece expands and compresses the rubber on your new bellow just enough to where you can put your bellow ring on there kinda like uh, kinda like this okay. because um, a lot of people for a lot of people this is a nightmare trying to get this ring on your exhaust on your u-joint bellow um, it's it's one of those uh, I've seen people trying to MacGyver it and it looks it, it's, it's tough it's rough so anyways I use this thing and then once I use that I left it in there overnight 24 hours came back the next day and inserted this into the compressed bellow rubber once um, I was in able to get this in there just enough to where um, it wouldn't fall out then it was secure enough to where I could come back and use this device okay this bellow installer tool and so that ring a new ring goes perfectly over this tool okay so I took this tool and at first I tried it on here 
on the engine alignment tool and I put it in there like that took this hammer a little four pound sledge hammer whacked it a few times and it worked but it wasn't giving me the result I wanted so what I did is uh, I put this in there like that and I went and got a 2x4 and I put the 2x4 in there and I just start whacking it like this and like this about three or four times and this bellow ring just slid in there nicely so um, thanks to this tool if you don't have this man lifesaver this here is an exhaust bellow tool again this tool is invaluable or it was for me anyway um, this is another tool that saved me for a first timer um, basically this tool it goes into the bellow okay, like this you squeeze it together now this is um, this bellow is is cut up and warped but on the new one it goes in there perfectly I mean this tool is designed specifically for the uh, um, gimbal bearing um, the bearing bellow and so you put this in there or no I mean the exhaust bellow sorry but you put this in there put it in pinch it down here squeeze it together and it expands up here and then once it's in there like that you simply um, you pull the bellow expand the bellow by pulling it this way okay towards your bell housing now the thing that makes this tool kind of cool is that you don't need an extra pair of hands to hold this bellow for uh, when you're pulling it forward you don't need an extra pair of hands to hold the tool you simply take this pin okay so you're gonna pull the bellow in this here so you're gonna make sure this is past your bell housing when you're pulling the bellow you're gonna pull it like that and once this part passes the exhaust on your uh, bell housing um, comes out this way you slide this pin in there um, like that and so basically now you got this has your your uh, bellow pulled to the bell housing and this pin is going to prevent it from going back so it's basically just holding that bellow in an extended um, an extended range okay invaluable tool and then that way you can then uh, um, put that bellow put that bellow on so the hinge pin tool invaluable grab this tool um, the reason this I wasn't I was kind of skeptical about this at first because I was like this thing looks like it might strip the bolts but what happened is um, those hinge pins have some Loctite on them and when you're wrenching on this thing it takes some force to get those hinge pins to break loose but this thing came through and worked like a champ without without any effort I mean as far as inserting the tool and using it but you know put your ratchet on the end of there put this inside your hinge pin, hinge pin and you know start wrenching on it shift cable tool so this goes over the outer jacket and secures your outer jacket to your bell housing this didn't work for me pulling off the shift cable because my shift uh, cable jacket was seized onto the um, the threads were seized onto the bell housing so I had to actually take it to a uh, boat a boat company and they had to heat it up and then remove uh, the outer jacket um, 
Another thing on my exhaust when I was doing my bellows, I ran into was I had to the shift shaft here. And what I had to do with this is I had to just cut it out because if you look here, there's a little screwdriver screw there. Mine is seized. I couldn't get it out. So for another 40, 50 bucks, whatever it was, it was worth the two or three days it took me to figure out that, yeah, that's not coming out. So I had to find another solution. And so I just took a grinder, cut it in half. It took me about two minutes to install the new one. Um, the next tool would be soapy water. Just regular old dish soap and water. Um, and what I used that for was when you slide your new shift bellow over the outer jacket, it's a tight, extremely tight fit, and I didn't want to rip the uh, bellow. And so I sprayed soapy water on the inside as I'm feeding this through the outer jacket. Worked like a champ. Um, the other one was I used the soapy water for this. This is the water hose coming from the transom. Connects up there um, on top of your bellow. And um, getting it off was not as hard as I thought. But I didn't want to take any chances on breaking the plastic piece when I was putting this back on. So again, I sprayed some soapy water into here and this thing just slipped right in. So it's pretty valuable. Um, of course, my, my, my uh, four pound sledgehammer was pretty valuable in um, inserting the new gimbal bearing uh, into the out drive into the housing. This here is the shift cable uh, clamp tool. So it's the crimp tool. Where you put your clamp on there and you crimp it down. Another tool that was pretty valuable. Uh, let's see. For anybody doing this job for the first time, this is just your inner core for your shift cable. Oh yeah, yeah. And the reason I, I want I have that is I wanted to show this tool and this tool prevents when you got everything done and you're ready to put this thing back together this tool fits on here something like this and what it does is when you're putting your out drive back on and this shift cable sitting like this and it has to sit straight but a lot of times what happens is uh, you know you got your your uh, your um, shift shaft sitting there in here and you put this your uh, out drive on and this thing moves and it goes like this well this tool prevents that so um it's man this thing is worth the money big time so first time doing the job and I did it completely by myself and uh, this tool all these tools saved me big time um, and I just um, I saw a lot of people trying to MacGyver stuff and so I was like yeah I'm gonna try try this but I'm gonna get the tools I think that um, that um, people are saying are the correct tools so this here is a hinge pin uh, a hinge pin um, washer and one thing to be careful on these is when you get these new they come with a paper sticky back and I took mine off not really thinking about it when I put it on because I put the out drive on I was like oh I forgot the washer so I slid these washers through there and they're extremely sticky on one side and so I almost didn't get the hinge pin this thing on there correctly and if you if you don't the hinge pin won't be able to go through and secure to the bell housing and to the out drive so don't do like I did and put it on there like like that and I had to go and kind of you know grind a little bit of that down um, engine alignment tool Whew, man this thing is this thing is pretty nice pretty valuable tool um, I can go a little bit more into debt or 
debt shit. Everybody's in debt. And the detail as far as how these tools are used. But this is just the tools I use, just a general rundown. Um, of course, you need your Allen wrench. Pull this thing apart. But uh, this is your engine alignment tool. And when you put this on, it makes it a bearing um, installer tool. Okay. This next one here is my gimbal bearing uh, ejector tool, gimbal bearing puller, whatever you want to call it. It has a bar in there. The end of the bar broke off when I was trying to, uh, I believe, install the the bar. There's a bar, a long bar that comes out of this thing actually. That when you're ready to pull the bearing, you put this bar into the housing and then you're gonna feel the front of this thing it's kinda like a little cone you're gonna feel it hit the bearing and then you're gonna think that's the end but you gotta keep going past that bearing so that cone pops out of the of the top and then you'll feel it because you can pull this thing out um, once you go past the bearing but once you push this long bar so there's a bar that I still have not taken out. It's in here and it's about the length of this bar. So this is a hollow tube and there's a bar in here and once you press this uh, puller into the bearing you're then going to insert the bar that's stuck in here. You're going to insert that and you're going to make sure that your puller is you know past the bearing and then you're going to just smack that bar in. Mine wasn't that easy to get in, so I had to smack it in there. Um, I know some people, it seems like it's a little easier for them, but for me it was, uh, it was kind of difficult. And then once you do that, that, that bearing's on there. It's not, it's not going anywhere. So then, you know, I saw people using uh, vice grips and things like that to... Uh, to uh, wrench on this and pull the bearing out but at a certain point um, it wasn't working for me I mean I was putting a lot of torque on those vice grips so I went and got a big pipe wrench and it has little grooves here on here right there where it's flat so a pipe wrench fits on there and I just started using a pipe wrench on there and uh, after about Man, about two minutes of turning, trying to turn that dang thing, that bearing just plucked right out. So, yeah. So, these are the tools. Some of the tools I used um, the tools that I would consider um, if you don't have, man, you, you want to look into getting, the, getting these tools. And, of course, the manual. So, if this helps anybody, uh, good luck. And uh, you can do it by yourself. You just just uh, take your time. So, all right. See you later.